So this is my reflection for the challenge-based learning project for EdTech. And basically what I'm going to be talking about is my challenge-based learning project and how I thought that went and how I thought, um, you know, what I thought about that in general. So here we go. Um, basically, I'm just going to tell you what my challenge was. My challenge was to stop budget cuts in music education. And um, this is obviously very important to me. I am a music education major and no matter what, music education programs are being cut. In my high school, the budgets were frozen. All, all of the years, actually, that I was in high school, the budgets were frozen for band and choir, and it was detrimental. It was really, really bad for us. We didn't get new marching music, so we're playing the same stuff as we played the year before, and we could no longer have someone else write our shows, which is really cool. When you have a really cool show, you get really great scores. And it can help you um, kind of build your confidence as a marching program when you have a really great show. And we weren't allowed to do that. Our, our uniforms did not even get dry cleaned every year. Tell me how disgusting that is to sit in a band uniform that somebody else wore last year and sweat in that didn't get washed. That's what's happening across the nation in music education. And there are all these articles out there about the benefits of music education and music education in the brain but when budget cuts happen to education systems and they do when budget cuts happen the first thing to go or the first thing to be cut is music education so that's why I proposed the challenge to stop budget cuts because it's it is a challenge it's a huge challenge and I think that maybe you know if this was a challenge based learning thing we could figure out an answer somewhere along the way uh, this is something that obviously greatly affects me and something that I really want to figure out how to solve because no matter how many articles are released saying that music education is one of the most beneficial things to a child's education, it's still being cut. Positions are still being lost every single year. So that's why I pose that challenge. Um, my reflection on the project was I actually had a pretty great understanding of challenge-based learning as I went to Pratt High School. So... One of those six schools that was the first to try this out was my high school, and I was a freshman in high school that year, and we did challenge-based learning in three of my classes, I believe. Um, the one I remember was our civics class. We did a challenge about how to make Pratt more energy efficient, and so, you know, it, ours was a very simple solution. We suggested that everybody use and have to use uh, fluorescent light bulbs, so that's why my challenge is kind of more simple. Um, yet thought-provoking, can provide for some creative creativity and creative thought, um, critical thinking, as that challenge that I did and participated in was very simple. However, it required a lot of thinking and a lot of um, thought about the execution of your solution and a lot about budget and a lot about anything like that. So it really promotes higher order thinking skills. I didn't really struggle with thinking of a topic for this because Music education is so near and dear to me, and I struggle every day with the fact that it's being cut, you know? Sometimes um, I actually think about what I might have to do, like, as a backup plan. If positions get cut all across the board, I actually have a backup plan in case I graduate college and can't get a job in what I want to do because it's being cut all over the nation. And I shouldn't have to have that. I shouldn't ever doubt the fact that my children will go to school and play an instrument. I want them to go to school and play an instrument. I'm the band teacher for crying out loud. And I can't even guarantee that my kids will have the opportunity to learn how to play an instrument. And that's why I'm so worked up about this. Um, yeah, this project was pretty easy for me, something pretty near and dear to my heart. I already had an understanding of what challenge-based learning was. And um, I really think it provided me an opportunity to think about how to put together a video that accurately portrayed that and how to make it into more of a challenge because you it's easy to suggest certain ways to solve this problem but obviously the ones that everybody's suggesting and everybody's executing are not working so that's why that's my challenge and that's my reflection on challenge-based learning and thank you for watching